Yo, yo, what's up guys? Thanks for finding the channel again. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, just letting you know we do adventures around here. And we'll be doing adventures every Wednesday uh, at 5 o'clock. I'll drop a new video every single week. So uh, look forward to the episodes. And uh, yeah, it, what you're about to see right now is my first road trip for the channel. So it's road trip uh, 1 part 2. And uh, yeah, we get into some weather. We get into some interesting things. But uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, help me out and we'll take you on even crazier adventures. Once we get more numbers, we're going to go crazier places. So we'll see where we can take this thing. So uh, yeah, thanks guys. See you in a bit. What's up guys um, just getting back with you made it to Oklahoma City freezing rain like crazy I was white knuckling the whole damn time so I didn't film too much made it to the hotel so I just wanted to show you you know what you get for 80 bucks plus tax in Oklahoma City not bad to, to be honest with you we got a, you know we walk in the door here we got the old bathroom we got a little mic area, you know, a little sitting area. Got the coolers, a little desk. And then we got like a little separate bedroom here. Shoom shoom, a little bed, a little TV. Big ice storm coming tomorrow. Plans are going to get a little crazy. It's finally stopped raining. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a little crazy. Hopefully my plans don't have to change. But I'm not going to go driving through 
a bunch of ice on the road and wreck my new truck. So either you're gonna have to stay here today or I'm hoping that it kind of turns to rain and just melts all that tomorrow and then we'll be uh, back in the game. Headed to Colorado, we're about seven hours from Colorado. I got like 12 hours in the day. We're at like 1,300 miles on the trip under we're we're right at like 29 hours or something so we're doing pretty good we're we'll be in color if, if the weather permits we'll be in colorado in 48 hours which can't beat that that's two sleeps and a lot of driving but uh if i gotta be in oklahoma tomorrow then we'll we'll explore oklahoma because that's what we do and we make the best of it but hopefully we roll up the mountains but uh i'm gonna get some sleep because i didn't sleep very nice last night in that truck in alabama i'm gonna get that good sleep tonight so uh yeah um uh, catch you tomorrow good morning youtube oh we got a day today all right so i wake up in here in oklahoma city and i knew there was gonna be a ice storm a snowstorm in between my oklahoma city and my destination of colorado so I'm a little screwed because it's real icy out there and they're going to be shutting down one of the highways that I need to get on till tomorrow. So pretty screwed. So what I did was I booked another room here because better be safe than sorry. I don't want to wreck the new truck, but tomorrow's supposed to be clear. So we'd be riding tomorrow. We'll be in Colorado by tomorrow. So we're going to be spending a day in Oklahoma city in the rain and sleet and storm it's pretty shitty outside it's kind of cold but it is what it is man this is what happens when you travel not everything works out perfectly not at all your plans work out as long as you're having fun i'm gonna go to denny's i'm gonna get me some grub i might get me a few beers tonight i don't know what i'm gonna do i might adventure this i'm it, there's not much to adventure but i'm gonna adventure it it's a like a hotel corridor of a off 90 uh, off highway 40 so but just to show you what i'm dealing with here's what uh the storm looks like so i'm the blue dot i need to go up here so i gotta get through all this ice and then a snowstorm so tomorrow this should be cleared up and we'll be in business so a little delay not what i wanted i had to spend a little extra money I had to put up some money on the credit card because I had to stay in a hotel because it's too damn cold to be sitting in an ice storm. But um, it is what it is. I'm gonna make the rainy, stormy day. I'm in the hotel. I think we're gonna do a little workout today. Let's see what we got in here. Let's see what we got. A little basic ass gym. The tread. We got a stepper. Mm-hmm. Welcome to my ice storm hideaway. You know, the comfort in Oklahoma City. Um, yeah, I'm hungry. So you guys, let's go in and get some um, oh, Denny's because it's the only thing around within walking distance. And I don't feel like driving, I've been driving way too much. So, let's see if it's still raining. I'm not tired of this fucking rain. Oh yeah, it's still raining. Still raining. Rain up, rain down, dog. All right. Well, I'm gonna walk to Denny's, get some food. Bring it back when I get some food. All right, we here at Denny's, across the street from the hotel here in Oklahoma City. And uh, I'm trying to stick with my 
not spending too much money, so I figured, what's the best thing I can get on a menu that's not, even at Denny's, it's pretty cheap, everything's like 10 bucks, but here is a side salad, 3 bucks, and a side of fries, 3 bucks, 6 bucks, good meal, got some greens, get some fat, not too bad, so, yeah, ice water with lemon, always free, baby, <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's what we're doing, so, I'm gonna eat, and then we'll walk around in the rain. I don't know. Ice storm, quarantine life, Oklahoma City. All right, I just realized I'm a chef, so I know the kitchen and industry pretty good. I just realized that there's probably 10 tables in here, and there's one waitress, one, one cook. And she's working her ass off, she's got, Ten tops, two top, two top. She's probably got about 30 people she's waiting on by herself right now. She got the whole restaurant to her own. So, my meal's gonna cost like 10 bucks. I think we're gonna give her a good ass tip, like give her like 20 on $10. So it's like a 400% tip or whatever it is. 200%. So, we'll see. We'll see how it goes out. She's right there working her ass off. Anyway, 7.53. Thirty-two fifty-three. Shoes super cool. I think we I think that'll help her out today. You know? Hopefully she makes some money. And uh, yeah, she was good. Super nice. Yo, yo. Back. Figured out there's a casino right down the street. So come to figure out what's good. Maybe we'll throw 20 down. See what's happening. Yeah. So I'm, uh, I think I'm gonna go in there and bet 20 on something. And I'll see you guys in a minute because I don't think I'm allowed to record in there, but I'll see you in a second. Sure thing. So I'm in here. I don't know if I'm supposed to film, but I just put 20 in. We'll see. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you lose $20 in five minutes. Didn't take very long. <laughs> well, that was at least something to do. Blew my whole budget for today almost. So, but I got nothing else planned. And, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. Hey, what's up, guys? Well, I come with some bad news. Um, in Oklahoma, Right on the verge of the ice storm, snowstorm, trying to get to Colorado. And I got about 10 hours tomorrow and the roads are closed due to the snowstorm. And the mountain pass is closed that goes into Colorado. So, we stayed in Oklahoma for no reason. We adventured, we had Denny, we did the casino, we worked out, so we didn't do nothing, but um, yeah, I don't know what to do. I'm a little flustered right now. I'm kind of mad that I'm not going, but I do have a Colorado trip planned in January, so I'll be going soon. So I think we're going to head south, try to get out of this ice storm, and uh, I don't know. We'll see where we end up. Oh, I can't, I don't even want to tell you guys where we're going because I don't even know. So, um, yeah, sorry that I couldn't take you guys to Colorado. We will get you there. We'll be there in January for sure. We're flying in, so there ain't no mess ups. And uh, yeah, we got a couple more days going south, Texas, Louisiana and shit. So we'll find some cool camping. We'll find something to do. Um, there's actually a, a casino. Maybe we'll go gam gambling again on some real tables. But I don't know. Shit sucks. Ice. I'm freezing my nuts off, and uh, yeah, the roads are closed. Right, we're heading out of Oklahoma. I'm gonna hit the Texas line here any minute. Let's see. Go to the Texas line.
what's up guys uh yeah so the ice storm snowstorm shut down all the roads in north texas like leading up to colorado so either it was like wait a couple more days which i don't have i gotta be back in florida by next week i got some plans set so pretty much screwed up that uh my colorado trip on the budget you know so i stayed in oklahoma city for two days trying to wait it out and it just fucking kept coming it was like here's wave two here's wave three here's wave four they just kept coming and the roads got so iced up over there that they just shut the whole road down leading up into Raton, new mexico so i would have had to drive you know 10 hours out of the way to to get there so when you're on the adventure you just gotta roll with the punches so we're going south to shreveport louisiana uh, it's like a gambling town. I got some reward points on my Expedia, so I think I can pull off getting the hotel for free. I think I have that many points. Um, yeah, we're going to try to get that free. We're gonna, so I'll have some money. I didn't spend any money yesterday, so I'm just going to... I spent $20 gambling, that's true. And I went nothing. But uh, we're going to try gambling again, because it seems like the only thing that we can do in this weather then um, either I'll get a hotel there or keep moving and find a campsite and then I guess I'm gonna camp again on the next day going down towards back home so I don't know what's going on kind of the trip kind of got flip floppy flippity floppity but it is what it is but uh, we're having fun we're almost in Texas and uh, yeah we'll be in Louisiana soon we're right on that right behind the hurricane it's just been a weather fiasco there's a hurricane there's snowstorms and we're stuck right in the middle of them trying to figure out what the hell to do but uh yeah all right we will see you in shreveport louisiana Horseshoe Hotel and Casino. This is it. I'm gonna give you guys a room tour here in a little bit, but let's go downstairs. fancier than it is but lipstick on the pig you know what I mean but it's it's doable definitely doable you can tell it's a casino hotel though everything's all gold and shiny and shit let's see what's up like to see what the hotels look like so this one was $59 and I had some uh, Expedia points so I got end up getting it for free which is can't beat that but let's start let me show you the old the old Hosier Bozier Magosier I had three beers so I'm a little meh, meh. all right here we go with the bathroom we got a little little tub bath That's pretty much the best part of the room you can always take a nice bath I always like a jacuzzi. Oh, bathroom over here. Yeah. All right. 
Nice size room. Oh, got the old bed. Got the old couch. Not too much. Nice high ceilings in here. Let's see. We're on the 14th floor. All right. Well, <clears throat> went in the casino, played two hands of blackjack, won them. I played one hand of blackjack, then I doubled down and won it. So I walked out. Ten dollars. I'm here all day. I'm not. I ain't trying to win in two minutes. Slow it. You gotta slow it down. You know what I mean? I just wanted to show you this cool hotel. Let's see. And uh, it's pretty sweet. Pretty nice. Pretty sweet. I'm gonna watch the football game and jacuzzi because the room has a jacuzzi. And when you have a jacuzzi, you jacuzzi. So, I got the jacuzzi route ready. I'm gonna have the phone set up with the football game. Man, if only I had a little vitamins, you know what I mean? I'd be in business. But uh, yeah, the hotel's nice. I got a salad and some fried okra for dinner. Not bad, not bad. Tomorrow we're gonna go to Hattiesburg, Mississippi at, let me tell you the name of it, hold on. At Okatoma Campground in Hattiesburg. It's about five and a half hours from here. So we'll be there by, if I leave here at seven, we'll be there at one o'clock. We're gonna cook a steak tomorrow. We're gonna cook a potato. We're gonna eat good tomorrow. We haven't eaten good. I'm gonna show you how the. I'm gonna show you the skills, campfire skills. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah. So I'm gonna watch this game. I'm gonna jacuzzi and get to bed, and we'll see you tomorrow on the road. Camping tomorrow, Hattiesburg.